Persona 3, Dancing in Moonlight. What's going on? Question mark. What? <laughs> oh, you're awake. Hello, Yukari. Oh, so it just starts with us being being here. Okay, whatever. Are you okay? Kinda. Where are we? No clue. We woke up here. Shut up, Stupe. Maybe we should just go back to sleep. Typical. Take a typical stupe. <laughs> Look at the face she's making. I think she usually gives him that 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 look like, what the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> Maybe you should just sleep forever. See? These two do not get along. She really doesn't like him. Everyone else is here too. This place is strange. Very strange. Kind of reminds me of a velvet room. Aesthetic. As well, the blue. Doesn't make any sense. I would I like just sleep it. in my own room. That you did. As did I. When I woke. I was here with the others. Wait, I guess you sleep? You don't really need to sleep. You know, being a robot and all. Hmm. Maybe the rules are different when if that robot can also use a persona. Hmm. Or does she talk about being like in sleep mode or something? Everyone's here. Could Aha, Akihiko. Ah. Coolest guy character in Persona 3. Also, voice Spike got that guy that voices Gara. <laughs> Yamagishi, do you have an understanding of the situation? And Mitsuru. Mitsuru Kurijo. She is voiced by another Naruto actor. The one that voices Tamari. There are no signs of shadows. It seems we're safe for now, but... In my opinion, Fuka is definitely, like, the best one because she's, like, the cutest. Like, she's, like, so adorable. Huh? And the lights went out. What the? Ladies and gentlemen. Wait a minute. I know that voice. Could it be? Yep. I have been waiting for you. Welcome to the Velvet Room. <clears throat> I mean. Hello, Elizabeth. For one night only, a magical paradise where a gathering of passionate souls revel as one! Welcome to Club Velvet! Oh, that's so cheesy. That is so fucking cheesy. But it makes sense for her to come up with that. She's not really all there in the head sometimes. This is especially apparent when in a uh, Persona 4 arena. Whoa, that was unexpected. I mean, what's going on here? Who are you? That is Elizabeth. That was merely an ingenious orchestration of a dazzling entrance. No big deal. Uh, you're I don't know why you're bothering genius? saying woman in blue when if they play Persona 3, they know who that is. Which I have. 
mostly. Whatever, she's such a hottie. You know her? Yes, and she's and she is very dangerous. She's an optional boss battle. No yeah. way. When did you meet her? But that means she's not an enemy, right? Depends. If you're challenging her in, as an optional boss fight, then yes. Or like, if you end up having to fight her in Persona 4 Arena, then yes. But other than that, no. Well, what do you want with us? You're a dumbass. Ah oh, yes, allow me to explain. However, I will not answer any more questions until I am done. Okay. She... she's kind of overbearing, huh? You think we're gonna be okay? She is overbearing. She always has been. She's the carefree of the two. Oh yeah, spoiler alert, she's Margaret's sister. Due to an incident involving my sisters, we shall be holding a ball here. Oh, multiple sisters. Wait, does that mean that Lavenza counts as being a sister too? Accordingly, I have summoned you all to proudly participate in the festivities. Makes sense. A ball? You mean like a party? Yes! More like a dance party though. Ooh, sounds like fun. I'm totally down for that. That look that Zero's giving. It's like... Dumbass. You haven't even listened to the whole thing yet. Hold on, Yuri. Haha! -ha! Told you so. This doesn't seem like just any old party. What do you want us to do? Yep. She's definitely the smartest out of them. Well, technically Fuka is smarter because of the whole, oh, psychic connection thing, but... Well... She's also a very powerful individual. That's someone you want to make angry. Especially when she grows up and becomes the Persona 4 Arena one. Also, her and Akihiko are actually their older versions, like the Persona 4 Arena versions of them, which are them as full-grown adults. This is them back in when they were still in Persona 3. Like, I don't know if this is just after the events of Persona 3 or not, but if I had to guess it is. Because during like the intro song, it said being the door wasn't easy, which means that they're acknowledging that that part happened. There's another thing. Are they just going to gloss over the fact that I'm not a, that the main character of Persona 3 is no longer a door? Keeping Nyx out. Oh yeah, spoiler alert for the ending of Persona 3, but at this point you should have sh should have um, played it by now because of how old that game is. Ah, oh, yes. Thank you for asking. Ah. Uh. I would like for you, my guests, to dance for me. Just you? Dance? What? Why do you want us to dance? Oh, there's no need for rumination. It's as simple as following your heart and releasing your passion on stage. Yeah. But here's the thing. How do they do that? Chances are, they don't really have any dancing lessons or whatever, at least as far as I know. It was never established from 
much as I know. Uh, it doesn't sound simple. It's not. Sorry, but we don't have time for this. Also, you can't dance, at least not from what I'm aware. Uh, she looks so disappointed though. Ah, oh, there's no need to worry about that. In the real world, you are all fast asleep. So in other words, it's just a dream then. What happens here will only take place tonight, and then it will vanish like a fleeting dream. So it is a dream anyway, so since in the real world they're asleep. Regardless of how much time you spend here, it will not have any effect on reality. So it's separated from, from reality in terms of the time. I don't know if that's how the dark hour works or not. I'm so confused. It's been so long since I played Persona 3. Um, so since we're in a dream, we can spend as long as we want here, and it won't matter. Yeah. Yes, perfectly stated. Yeah, I think I can't understand these in things addition, very well. Once you wake in the real world. Your memories from this place will all be removed. Why? It will be quick and painless, allowing you to rise and shine just like any other morning. What if they don't want to forget it? Huh? So please enjoy your time here to your heart's content. My question is, does Igor know about this? I'm just curious here. That's easy for her to say. Does she really expect us to go along with this? Yeah. As you can see, Ken is the only actual child there. The rest are teenagers. Oh, and wait a minute. Speaking of which, where the hell is the dog? No, seriously, where's the dog? Should the dog be here too? Although... I used to like... Like when it comes to scenes like this in Persona 3 and even 4. It, us it usually uh, just has like a portrait thing. But here... There's actual 3D models. And they are definitely really good updates from from back when Persona 3 was out on the PlayStation 2. Why must we dance though? You need to give us a reason. You sounded quite annoyed there. Why? Well... Did you not think all this all the way through? It wouldn't be the first for you. Ah... Uh... uh, how did I know? Probably because I know the character of Elizabeth and of Margaret better than the other ones. Mm. Well, out with it. Journey. I can only imagine how stressful it must be. Took you long enough to find a reason. I call shenanigans, but whatever. I apologize for my audacity, but I only wish to provide you with some relaxation. For some, dancing isn't actually relaxing. For some, it's exhausting. Thus, I prepared such an occasion to lift your spirits for the days to come. Oh really? Then why are you giving that glare? Will this explanation suffice? You just thought of that, didn't you? Ah! Even the child can figure it out. You know something's wrong. If a little kid is can figure it out that quickly. Should you refuse me, I would have no one else to turn to. 
technically there are others. They're just not formed yet. Here's my theory on how like the Persona games and, and shit work, you know, timeline-wise. Like, the events of Persona 3 happened first, of course. <laughs> then, the Persona 4 stuff happened after, like, after, um, the Persona 3 characters graduated and grew up. Then they end up meeting each other in Persona 4 Arena. I am very confused on how this canon shit works. This is just head shit. This is just head canon shit right now. I would be unable to even the score with my incompetent sister for all of eternity. Incompetent sister. Which are you referring to? Margaret or Lavenza? And without a doubt, my dignity would be trampled in the mud. Again, why does it say woman in blue? We all like, the main character knows who that is. Your sister? Oh, don't let it trouble you. That is truly a personal affair after all. Bullshit. Anyway, I thought I had done my utmost to support this man's journey from the shadows. Yet to think you won't even oblige one teensy little request from me. First of all, a dance party isn't that teensy. But... However, the blame rests solely with me. My sadness is deeper than the color of this room. Okay, now she's just trying to manipulate them with with the with um with her drama, dramatic, whatever. She's being a drama queen right now. Is what I'm saying. That sounded so fake. Hey, she's crying. She's not. She's faking it. Those are obviously crocodile tears. Ha! Ah! Well, of course you'd figure that. Of course you'd know that, because the whole well, you have scanners. She's attempting to appeal to our emotions. Uh, however, her acting lacks any true sentiment. Yeah, it could definitely rival um, Aunt's bad, act bad acting. Ooh, bird! Sorry. What are we gonna do? You're indebted to her, right? Yes. Then she's an ally, and if that's the case, we can't turn our backs on her. She's an ally, yes, and she has personas. I'm okay with it. What about you guys? Fuka, why are you looking at 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 us? You're kind of breaking the fourth wall there. I don't mind either. It's not like unless all this is happening objections. from like the main character's perspective. We don't actually see him in these cutscenes. You're actually okay with dancing? What's wrong, Stupe? Can't dance? <laughs> you have all accepted my terms, yes? A guest never goes back yeah. on their word, so our contract has been sealed. Now then, I ask that you all dance passionately into your heart's content. What actually defines passion passionately to you? That's actually kind of an interesting question. I knew it. She didn't even try to hide how quickly her mood changed. Wow. Fuka looks really worried. And she just looks disgusted. Yukari, I mean. She usually has that look anyway, especially when it comes to Junpei. But I didn't agree to it.
Well, I guess she has a reason for having that worried look now. Because, yes, she is right. She did not agree to it. First off, none of us have any dance skills or techniques. What oh. Have done about that? Ah, so they do address it. Interesting. Not to worry, as I am well aware. If you're well aware, why ask them dance then? Club Velvet is a mysterious space that only exists within your dreams. Uh -huh. Your emotions will be transformed into dance moves. That was an odd mouth animation for when you said moves. Enabling your body to move exactly how you imagine it to. It's merely child's play here. To you. Well, what makes you think they understand what you mean? She completely has the upper hand. It seems we've fallen right into her trap. Yes, and that's actually kind of surprising when it, like, when it comes to you, since you are the strategist. Fine by me. Sounds fun. Dumbass. The look that Yukari just gave in response to what he said is the look I'm giving right now. Well, basically, we just have to dance and rile up the crowd, right? Um... Uh... Yeah, kinda. Oh, I beg your pardon. It seems I forgot to introduce myself. Took you long enough, even though you shouldn't have had to. The one who will be guiding... No. <laughs> Producing you is me. My name is Elizabeth. Please there we go. Please feel free to call me by my nickname, LP. LP? <laughs> <laughs> the school I went to. Although, not those letters, but the sound. Fine, whatever. Wow. Okay, getting a little angsty there, even though you're not a teen yet. So then, what do we need to do? Please tell us in more detail, uh, LP. Yes, just as Kenny Boy said. We are pressed to Kenny Boy. Here. What are you, Maximilian and Pegasus now? Permit me to wrap things up and get right to the point. Yes, please. Uh, he didn't say that. And what's with the forced use of idioms? Idioms? Yeah, one thing that you should know about, about Elizabeth... She usually hears what she wants to hear most of the time. That's especially apparent when it comes to to Persona 4 Arena. I shall gracefully forego the insignificant details and tell you about Club Velvet. Yep. <laughs> First, this room you are in now is the VIP room, exclusively for your private use. So in other words, where the main menu is? Uh... Please utilize it as you wish. Be it to practice, or to chat with one another. Okay. Oh, so this isn't where we'll be performing? No, it is not, Fuka. The dance floor where you will actually perform is located just outside this room. So, in other words, this is backstage, then. The images in a dancer's heart will create the stage on which they'll perform within reason. So that's how you're gonna, going to ex to explain how each dance segment takes place in a different area. Like in front of a school or at Tartarus or whatever. Within reason? That sounds scary coming from her. You have good instincts, kid. She is scary. Even with, even with that carefree tone. In addition, I have prepared a separate waiting room for each of you. Okay. You're for real? We're like celebrities. Meh. I'd say that's more closer to to the fan of Thieves than this. In terms of the whole celebrity thing, because the whole internet fame thing happened. 
To ensure that your waiting rooms will have a most relaxing effect on you, I have created each one to reflect the very rooms in which you spend your daily lives. Interesting. I'll give you your key so that until it's time to perform, you can relax whole heart. Hardly. No. Whole wheat? Whole, whole grain? Well, whatever. Relax how you would like. There we go. That shit's definitely a callback to... to Batona for Arena, because she did that a lot. Our rooms? You mean our dorm rooms? Good. Then I can train. Train? You're accepting this way too easily, senpai. Plus, what's the point of training in a dream? I don't know. Ever heard of image training? It's practically the same thing. Now then. And yes, that was a Dragon Ball reference. As leader of the dance team, please get this party started. Okay. I'm gonna ask why me. Wait, what? You're our leader here too? That's fine with me. You're best suited after all. Go ahead. Are you sure? Cause to be honest, Mitsuru, you seem more. Even if, when I played Persona 3, you seemed more of the type that was best suited to be leader. Like, weren't you leader before before uh, the main character came along anyway? Because you were doing this, this persona shit before he came along. Alright. Yeah! It's time to party! Let the music play! Woohoo! I am very curious on how you're going to be able to dance in that outfit. I assume, like, in Persona 4, for, um dancing all night, you'll, like, um, with Margaret, I assume when I'm done the campaign for this, I assume that you are going to be unlockable. Huh? She did it herself. Yeah? Guess we'll just have to give this a go. By the way, I'm ready whenever. Yeah, don't hold your breath. I'm going to try to, um, purposely delay doing your songs for as long as I possibly can. I'm still a bit lost, but I'll make sure to be ready too. We'll look to you, leader. Yep. It appears that you'll be participating in Elizabeth's a ball with your friends. So you decide to give dancing a try. Obtain costume ball stage. Costumes. Begin the tutorial. Oh wow. I think I'm just going to skip this. Has multiple gameplay modes. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 okay. Alright. Now I can finally do the shit, okay. Hello, and welcome to Persona 3 Dancing in Moonlight. I was planning on doing that intro way sooner, like right when it started, but then, then the cutscene happened. I decided just to just do the intro after. All right, regular dancing. Okay, dancing is where you perform routines after selecting a difficulty level and stage. As you progress in the game, new stages and other features will unlock. Oh, so this this version does not have does not have um a story mode. 
some of, some of this point. So, first off, we got Mass Destruction, which is the battle theme. When the moon reaches for the stars. Okay, this is that remix thing. Okay. Soul phrase. Flipping all out. What? Or wiping all out. To be honest, that doesn't suit you, Fuka. Oh, hey. Oh, this is the final boss theme. And why are you in Persona 3? Akechi. I'm definitely not doing yours. Alright, mass destruction, let's go. Oh, his name is Makoto. Huh? Oh. You know, I might as well give them the clothes that they're gonna be be wearing anyway. Nothing new. Alright. Oh, uh, I guess I have to complete the thing before I can unlock it. So apparently my partner's gonna be Ken. Alright, here we go. Yes, I know I'm doing it on easy. Don't judge me. Let's blaze through this one. You look as calm and collected as Oh hey, we are in Tartarus. Yes. Whoa. How's that? Great. Doing great. Finally here. So far. Yes. This is not my favorite battle theme. Ha. I know I'm not quick, but I want to Yeah, um Yeah, feeling good. I know most of the buttons here because I played Persona 4. Um Dancing All Night. Which came first. This came out after, way after. Thanks for all the help. You've really come a long way. Well done. Hey, make sure there's more lines just in this song. Great. How's that? Keep pushing yourself. Thanks, Akihiko. <laughs> Ready to go anytime. That's it. Although I am used to a much smaller screen. Great. The last one I played was for Vita, so you can actually see everything. I almost missed that one. How's that? Great. Yes. Be very good. I actually don't know if you messed up during the fever. If, if uh, like the fever will cancel out. Never 
cease to amaze. <laughs> this is pretty interesting. Hey. Brilliant! That wasn't bad, oh. wouldn't you say? I can watch you dance all day! I can't wait until the next time! Ah, uh, yeah. Ken has been unlocked as partner. And got a trophy. Welcome to the club. Next. <laughs> when you meet various requirements while dancing, social events will unlock. Oh? Okay. New social event. Okay, so this is practically like the the um quote unquote story cutscene stuff. Huh? Oh, hey there. Hello, Yukari. Sorry, I still don't really get what's going on here. This is a dream, right? Technically. In reality, we're all asleep in our beds, which means we're all having the same dream? It's not unheard of. Sounds about right. And we don't have to worry about time, right? We'll forget everything when we wake up? That's what, she, that's what Elizabeth said, yeah, yes. No sense in overthinking it. I'll go with the flow. Go with the flow, huh? Sounds like a song. It's scary how used to this I am. Somehow, it just feels like another day to me. Yeah, the Velvet Rope kind of does have that effect sometimes. A few years ago, I would have been freaking out. I adjust to things way too fast. And that's a bad thing? Dancing, though? That really came out of nowhere. It did, yes. Do you have any experience? No, but nothing ventured, nothing gained, right? I suppose. Oh, but I think I can picture myself doing it. I like music and I watch dance videos. I, as a start, I guess. What else? Uh, cheerleading? I kind of used to think that was cool. Well, for the record, cheerleading does require you to dance sometimes, so that could count. I, I turned down the cheerleading club when they asked me to join. I was too embarrassed. Well, never mind. What about you? Ever tear up the dance floor anywhere? Like at Club Escapade? Not really. <laughs> well, now I don't feel so bad. Alright, let's do our best. The reason I answered not really is because when during my time in Persona 3, I never actually went into to that club. I know it's a thing because it was mentioned. Interested in dancing, so this seems like a good chance to try it out. Honestly, right. I still think this is crazy, but then again, I can dance my heart out here. Yeah. Well, I thought we're really, really the thing. I would love to be able to just control my dancing and shit like like you can in this game. I'll be counting on you if something happens, okay? You seem like you can handle anything. Except maybe being a door. Well, yeah. Alright, I think I'll go practice. It's our job to hype up the crowd, right? Yeah. Funny how how far this character has come, like not just Yukari, but the main character. If you played Persona 3, you'd know what happened when they first met. Okay, time to dance. I'm gonna be the disco queen. No, no you're not. If anything, you'll be a disco princess. 
the queen will be Mitsuru. Because in Persona 4 Arena, she's known as the Execution Queen or something. The Queen of Executions. This guy is dead. <laughs> you mean the Club Queen? Well, this isn't Disco. Obtain costume girl summer clothes. By viewing social events, you'll unlock bonus features to make the game even more fun. Such as new costumes. Alright. Alright. I think I'll actually do this one now. Yes, costume setting. Yeah. So this is my outfit? It's a very weird outfit, though. I'm sorry, but that is definitely a weird outfit. Oh, you can have I guess. Okay, let's do this. Okay, here it goes. So I'm yeah, let's begin. the reason I'm you doing this now. Oh crap! This is fast. I have a feeling I'm going to mess up. This is so much easier on the Vita. Don't jinx it, Yukari. Shut up, Stephen. This was definitely harder. Good. That doesn't seem like it because I haven't messed up yet, but it definitely does feel harder. Because it's faster. think that that is a very weird outfit for her. Like, I can see On wearing that, but her? It just doesn't seem to fit her. No, personality-wise, I mean. Oh yeah. Keep going. Oh, I almost fucked that one up. Quite a bit of perfects. Come on. I guess has a lot of partner. 
Settings. <laughs> this is pretty cool. Now this outfit definitely suits him. Well, the hood part. The headphones, not so much. Cause he doesn't get a hair thing. Who cares? Who's gonna be your partner? Ugh. I wonder if I do this will change. Damn it. Fine. Let's get this shit over with. I really hate you, Pei. One hit KO? Okay, this one's a little easier because it's slower. One, two. Oh, and I think, um, after this song, and after I get the whole, the results and shit, I think I'm going to end this here. Depending on how long I've been recording, that is. If I end up unlocking another social event, I'll do the social event first and then end it. Oh yeah, I probably should have mentioned before that... Oh fuck, I missed one. That's the first time I missed it. Top of the class when it comes to getting carried away. Don't hold anything back. You really shine at times like these, Junpei. I think I think he just burned him. I wanna dance like that too. <laughs> I wish to see that one day. Oh fuck. Nailed it. Let's finish this. I'm surprised that that little fuck up with with the Union one didn't cost me. Shit! I'm getting confused. I might have to do this one again. I think in a later video I'll do this one again just to try not to fuck up. At all. I prefer not to have any misses. Nailed it. Brilliant. Like I still passed it, sure, oh, but look, well. there's three misses. I got confused. Social, uh, oh, Yukari and Fuka. Wait, what? <sighs> Might as well look at them both then. Ah, uh, you again. First of all, that's not a character. There's no way she'd be. Chatting with him with a smile on her face. Oh, you're here to practice too. Woo, that was a good workout. 
I'm gonna take a little break. <laughs> Being together like this, it's almost like we're back in the dorm. Well, that was kind of... kind of what Elizabeth said it would be like, wouldn't it? This dream rocks! I don't have to go to class, and my room is the same as it is in reality. Yeah. Oh, you mean our waiting rooms? Yeah, I was surprised. It looks just like my actual room. Gee. How? What? How did Elizabeth know what each of their rooms looked like? It even has all the same things in it. How does that work? I sh practically just asked that. Look, I wanted to listen to a CD, but it wasn't in its case here either. Hmm. Wait. Oh. Uh, what's up, Yucatan? Yucatan? What? I've never, I've never heard anyone be called Ton before. I've heard San, Chan, and Takoon, but Ton? I just realized that I let you borrow that CD, Junpei! There we go, now she's back in character. Oh, uh, you remembered that, huh? Yep. Unbelievable. Give it back already. Yeah, wait, please. Just let me hold on to it for a little longer. Actually, uh, can I borrow a few more? Are you kidding me? How about you give back what you've already got first? Uh. Wait. Hmm. What's wrong? This is a dream, right? Yeah. Yeah. LP said we'd forget everything when we woke up. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Lucky me. I mean, uh, wow. That's too bad, huh? <laughs> Fuck off, Jupe. All right. Just forget Stupe for now. Ah, there we go. She said it. Told you she calls him Stupe. Hey, you're always wearing earphones, huh? What kind of stuff do you listen to? Hmm. Intense music, relaxing music. I'm not telling you. So you they can say I'm not telling you? Nah. Oh, like classical? I can sort of picture that. Yeah, more like Persona music. For me, it's gotta be rock. And maybe a little pop. I'm a pretty good singer myself, you know? Don't believe me? <laughs> Wait till I'm on stage. Uh-huh. I've heard you sing. You suck. Worse than me, even. And that's saying something. Because I am really bad at singing. Especially according to most people. But you are worse than I am, and that is saying something. Uh, don't know. Don't want to know. Ha. Ah, oh, come on! At least listen! No. Music sure is interesting, though. Yep. Just listening to it is enough to fire someone up or make them cry. I suppose it depends on the mood, it yeah. It can even make you remember the past, if you listen to a song from that time. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Memories just come flooding back. Too bad that won't be the case here, though. Yeah, I was so young and foolish back in the day. Were? Was? You still are! And even with your fucking baseball career when you grow up, you're still that way. Not that you really learned anything. Ha! Burn. Ah, oh, lay off! I worked hard to get where I am. Oh, really? The music we listened to this year, it's definitely linked to our memories. Maybe we'll end yeah. up remembering this place after all. I doubt it. There's a chance I'll remember it, cause... You know... Well... When I say I, I mean like the main character. Cause like... This game is from his point of view, right? So we have to do every response best. he has, I, I choose. my memories of this place to be embarrassing. Yep. 
they're not going to remember. Don't overdo it. That's usually how I respond. Shouldn't fight off more than I can chew. I'll just go at my own pace. They're motivated. I'm eh? to go too. This is gonna be the best night ever. I'm not sure if it will be for you. And I am just remembering something. That couch in the background. And the table there. That reminds me of the actual Velvet Room in Persona 3. Like, that's what that couch looked like. I guess it makes sense considering this is the Persona 3 one. I wonder if if the Persona 5 one will have have like the stuff that was from the the Persona 5 Velvet Room. We're gonna forget everything anyway, so we don't have to worry about Junkei messing up. <laughs> I do wish I could remember seeing everyone on stage though. Even Stupe? Wait, why am I the only one getting singled out here? Do you not pay attention to the shit you do? Like, seriously. Ooh, stylish glasses, eh? 